Hi y'all, how y'all doing tonight? Well, I thought I would uh, do this video about this uh, political correctness thing that we're having going on here in the world these days. I honestly thought it would stop by now, but as you can plainly see, it, it hasn't. It's getting so people are offended by everything now. I mean, around Christmas time, there were there was a petition going around trying to ban the song "White Christmas." It's about snow. Are we are we trying to ban snow now? So this this is just shows you how bad it's gotten. Um, last summer there. Uh, at around Central Park in New York City, there was a group of about 200 people that um, went to Central Park with the intent to burn the American flag. 200 people. Luckily, they were stopped by a group of bikers and veterans that uh, made them rethink what they were going to do. So it's luckily, luckily that those bikers and veterans showed up at the right time. I understand that um, the American flag does have some bad history behind it. For example, uh, millions of Native American Indians were slaughtered under that flag for no reason other than that they were Indians. Okay? It's not right. I understand that, and I can understand why they may consider it racist, but, you know, it's just... Just because uh, a few bad things happen in history, that's why it's history. It doesn't mean that the, the flag is only bad. Same thing goes with the, uh, um, the don't tread on me flag, for example. The uh, yellow one, the Revolutionary War one, it's called the Tea Party flag. I mean, I guess it's because it's around the time of the Boston Tea Party. But, uh... Yeah, consider that offensive too. I imagine the British consider it very offensive. But you know, it's again, it's a flag. If you don't like it, don't fly. It's plain and simple. Um. Now back to the uh, another. The flag that a lot of other people seem to be having a problem with is the Confederate battle flag. And first of all, it's often mistaken that it was the national flag of the Confederacy, which it never was. It was a military flag, the Army in Northern Virginia, and uh, the wider one was the Army of uh, Tennessee. So. It was eventually incorporated into the national flag, but it was never the national flag. The first national flag of the Confederate States of America was very similar to our Stars and Stripes. So, yeah, they were, about that time, they were close to being the same. And in fact, the first two years of the war, it was, that's what the flag was. It was Stars and Bars is what they called it. And uh, a lot of places were, were trying to ban that flag because of the guy that went on and shot up a church last year. Well, he may have held the flag in his hand, but as I've said, one bad apple doesn't condone the rest of us. Most of us fly the flag with pride. We don't use it for racism. We don't use the American flag to say we're better than every other country just because we're Americans. So that's not how we roll. But I know there are supremacy groups out there. There's the Black Panthers. There's uh, the KKK and all that other crap that's out there. And uh, I understand that at uh, Stone Mountain in Georgia they had a uh, incident earlier where it was meant to be a peaceful protest and that both the KKK and the uh, Black Panthers showed up. So essentially what you have is uh, two groups of idiots fighting each other. 
And as you can imagine, it doesn't usually turn out too well, which, from what I understand, it didn't. So. But these are the kind of things that, well, they, they're the ones that cause the problems. It's amazing how a few bad apples can destroy it for everybody. I mean, there was actually a school, I think it was Virginia or Tennessee, where they just said the hell with it, and they banned every flag in the school. You are not allowed to fly a flag in that school at all. They solved the problem. And yeah, you may not agree with that, but I can kind of see where they're coming from, because if you can't bring any flag, American flag, Confederate flag, pirate flag, whatever, you know, sports flag, Red Sox flag, whatever, you know, then nobody's offended, because you just got a bunch of empty poles, right? So, uh, I can, that is kind of where this country is heading, I mean, eventually, I think we're not even going to fly any flags, if, if it doesn't get any better, we're just going to fly empty poles, because people will come over here, we'll be like, we don't want to offend you, so, there's our empty pole, there's no flag on it. And that's kind of where this country is heading, and it's sad to see it go that way. Uh, but <clears throat> again, that's the political correctness and uh, everything else that's going on in this world. I mean, we have a presidential election going on now, and essentially what you have is people that do one thing, say one thing and do another, so I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't trust any of these guys running for president. I mean, there were a couple of them that said a couple of good things in the beginning, but as they've run it, they've been running, they've, uh, what, what they had pretty much went out the door, so I mean, I don't think, I wouldn't trust them, any of them, but, you know. I don't vote anyways, because, you know, no matter who you vote for, you, your vote really doesn't matter because it's the uh, establishment that takes it. Yeah, I don't understand why they even have people vote, vote because it's not like it uh, makes a difference. I mean, it really doesn't. Yeah, well, whatever, I guess. But, uh... Another thing I uh, wanted to touch on is uh, wanted to mention the uh, <clears throat> there's this movement movement called the Black Lives Matter movement, and it wouldn't be bad, but they to them not every Black Lives Matters is what I've seen. I mean, I've seen instances where they've had. Uh, little kids killed and they, they're no, nowhere to be found rallying for them. Same with thing if a police officer gets killed and something like that. I mean, if you uh, truly care, you should be caring about every citizen, not just a select few. I mean, if you're going to do it, I mean, if you're going to hold your rallies, hold them peacefully. You don't need to bring violence into it. There's enough of that in the world anyway, these days anyways. You know, you don't need to add more to it. But, that being said, I mean, if uh, it keeps going to down the drain like this is, I mean, it just seems to be getting worse every day. I mean, I just hope one day it'll all stop and everybody can just go on with their life, but it's not happening that way. Uh, you know, it used to be a nice, nice country to live in, but now it's kind of, kind of scary sometimes. Cause you never know. When you step out your ha step out of your house, what's going to happen? But, like I said, that's where things have come down to. I mean, 
past uh, several months, I noticed that it seems to be open season on uh, police officers. I understand there's a few bad ones now and then, just like anybody else, but there's more good ones than uh, bad ones, I'd say, because I, I know quite a few of them myself real well, and they're nice, they're nice people. And if we didn't have them, uh, we'd have the what they have in the Middle East, which is essentially the inmates running the asylum. I mean, you see how that's turning out. So they are. Uh, I don't know. Understand why uh, people keep going after them? I mean, they had this one uh, young lady, young lady police officer. I think he was in. Uh, Virginia or Ohio in the first day on the job, she got killed. Just one day on the job, that was it. It, it ended right there. Mm -hmm. Sad to see that happen. I don't, I don't think she was even 25 years old. So. Uh, something that shouldn't have happened, but then it did. Just like uh, that, young, that young man that shot up that church. Last year, he shouldn't have done that, and uh, but he did it, and he's being prosecuted for it. Now, it's because of him that there's such a big thing with the Confederate battle flag, because he, he held one in his Facebook picture, but, you know, the flag didn't uh, make him do that. He got it in his head one day that he was going to commit that act, and he did it, and he will pay the consequences for it. So, I mean, he, he said, I heard it said that uh, his goal was to start a race war. Well, let's not give him that satisfaction. Okay, we don't need to give that idiot what he wants. Because, you know, like I said, we don't need any more violence in this country. We don't need Look at Chicago. I mean, there's like there's multiple shootings there every day, I and mean, it needs to stop. I mean, I got I got well, I'm a Chicago Bulls fan myself, but I got friends with those big Chicago fans, and uh, I always worry if they decide to go to a game in uh, Chicago, they they may just go in the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time. So just uh. I mean, like, I mean, a few years ago it wasn't uh, this bad, well, more than a few years ago actually, but, you know, I guess it uh, depends on where you go, I mean, I guess if you go to a place like uh, maybe Arizona or something, you don't really see too much uh, stuff happening there. Probably because it's too hot. It's like uh, 110 degrees there on any given day. So. Yeah, it's just uh, they also seem to be trying to ban a lot of other things too. Like uh, as I said, they tried to ban the song "White Christmas." Uh, whether they succeeded on that radio station or not, I don't know. I mean, it's about snow, so I don't see how it's racist, but it shows you how low this country is sinking. And uh, I just don't, <clears throat> I just don't know if it's gonna stop. Because when I posted about that uh, around Christmas time, my friends like, "Are you serious?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And, uh, copy the article and send it to him. Maybe he couldn't believe it. But uh, <clears throat> there's also other, uh, there's been college campuses that are trying to ban the uh, American flag or, or Star Spangled Banner because they say it represents racism. And, well, in some ways, I can see where they're, where they're coming from because of some of its history. But, you know, it's stuff that happened like 150 to 80 years ago. I mean, you know, let it go. 
It's not today. I understand that uh, some of this stuff still exists today. Like I mean, they call it human trafficking now, but it's the same thing. It's slavery. It still it still exists today. And another thing that people seem to miss on is that uh, all states at one time or another you know, had slavery. That's it wasn't just the South, you know, it wasn't just, you know, one state, it was all the states. I guarantee you, even Hawaii and Alaska, one time or another. Hell, in, uh, in, in Vermont, for example, uh, it was one of the first states to ban slavery, but the problem was nobody bothered to enforce the law. So it actually went on for over 30 years after it was supposed to be abolished doesn't really make a difference if you don't enforce the law, I guess. So, there's actually a book about it you can get. It's called uh, The Problem of Slavery in Early Vermont. Uh, as far as I know, you can order it off Amazon. And you can get pretty much everything else. It's a good website. But, uh, I wonder, this too. This is uh, <coughs> something I picked up at a... Uh, yard sale last year it's a uh, tapestry yeah. it's got the American flag on it as you can see it's like a bicentennial thing uh, 1976 and uh, it, um, I wasn't gonna get it at first but uh I got to thinking if the wrong person got a hold of it, they would probably, you know, burn it. And the American flag tapestry that I just showed you. And so that's why I uh, bought it because I couldn't, just couldn't uh, deal with that if that happened. And uh, sadly, people are doing that. I mean, it doesn't really prove any, anything really, except you know. You know, people obviously get off by setting fires to flags, but whatever. I mean, there's flags I don't agree with and I don't like, but you don't see me, you know, getting them just to burn them or freaking, you know, it's stupid. You know, another thing, uh, People are starting to do is they uh, are starting to deface uh, Confederate soldiers' graves. Okay, now that is something you don't do. Now these people are dead. You don't disgrace the dead. I mean, you wouldn't want it done to you if you were gone. So don't do it to somebody else. I mean, you know. Another another thing uh, they try to play is that the Civil War itself was about slavery, and that that was the case. The Abraham Lincoln would have, uh, well, he would have freed the slaves before the war started, and the Emancipation Proclamation would have been in 1861 instead of 1863. So. But, you know, there were uh, many, many black uh, Confederate soldiers as well as uh, black Union soldiers. And uh, there's actually uh, some that um, go around as, uh, of course, their descendants that uh, you can meet. If you can see those, they have uh, videos on YouTube, of course. And, uh, and from what I'm, I've never, I haven't met any of them yet, but they seem like nice people, so, you know, the way I look at it, they're all war veterans, uh, I mean, I, I'm, for the, for the most part, I wouldn't say, you know, like, in every situation, but pretty much in every war, um, 
like World, you know, World War Two, World War One, uh, Korea, and stuff like that. No matter what side you fought on, whether you were American, German, or went on whatever Japanese, you're still a war veteran. Now you gotta remember that you were told to do what uh, ever your commanding officer told you to do, and sometimes that those things may not be, you know, nice. I would say nice, or you know, it's not really about war that's nice. So basically, you're all, uh, regardless of what side you fight on in a war, you're all veterans, and. Veterans should be respected. And uh, I don't mean those, those idiots over in the Middle East that, you know, blow themselves up for the fun of it. You know, but, okay, those are, those are not veterans. Those are just, you know, weirdo, weirdos, I guess, is how you put it. But, um, there was this, uh, picture I'm sure a lot of you saw it went around a couple weeks ago of this, uh, Man who fought in World War Two who marched alone in a parade, and because all of his uh, all of his um, comrades were gone, and he passed on, and you could see the tears rolling in the guy's eyes. And I said that uh, if I was there, I wouldn't have let him march alone. I may not be a veteran. I may not, obviously. Uh, only 29, so obviously I wasn't in World War II, but I wouldn't have let him march alone. I would have uh, been proud to march alongside that uh, that uh, soldier. That's why uh, when I uh, meet, meet these uh, soldiers, uh, I like to uh, talk with them. And I don't want to talk so much that I bother them because uh, I'm always willing to listen to uh, their stories and what they have to say because uh, I appreciate what they did for our, our country. I mean, they, uh, they're the ones that uh, kept this country going. And uh, the, veter the veterans that are over there now will continue to fight. That's, an, that's another thing. I mean, uh, not, not everybody uh, respects a uh, veteran leader. But well, I wish they should, but you know, I can't force somebody to do something that they don't want to do. So, that who are just roll with it I guess but it's alright because some people just don't don't know what they're uh, what they're doing so they, they try to tear everybody out down to make themselves feel better but that's not how it how it should be Another thing I'll mention about the uh, Civil War is that, uh, like most wars, it shouldn't have happened. I mean, you had, no matter how you look at it, you had the same country basically fighting itself. Okay? I mean, they can twist it around any way they want, but at the end of the day, it's the United States fighting itself. I mean, you know, it, it shouldn't have happened because, you know, something like that, this day and age, if it were to happen again, that would be the precursor to something worse because they would see, then see us, other countries that are our enemies would then see us as vulnerable. So if we're busy fighting against, amongst ourselves again, then uh, we would be be prone to more attacks and probably a lot worse ones than what we've seen. So, it's best that we don't uh, do that again, but 
again I mean with everything that's going on if it doesn't stop I I don't I don't know what's gonna happen but that uh, over the past uh, year or so it's gotten worse and we're just uh, We'll just keep adding more fuel to the fire to keep finding new things to be offended by, you know. And, and just like I wear wolf shirt because I like wolves, I mean, some people are offended by that. But, uh, whatever. They're offended by the teens that you play. They're offended that you don't dress the way they do. Or by the food you eat. Like, uh, you're hanging out with a vegetarian, they're offended that you eat meat. And, uh, it used to be people would, uh, tolerate each other, and they would, uh, just, you know, be friends, or at least, uh, try to get along with everybody. I, I try to get along with everybody that I meet. I mean, some people would just... They just don't want to be friends with anybody, so they, uh, I mean, all you can do is try, but it doesn't always work, unfortunately, but. Another thing that, uh, set me was, uh, show that Dukes of Hazzard got canceled. Now, uh, I don't see the why people have a problem with that. I mean, there's more offensive shows on the air now. I mean, there was nothing remotely racist about the Dukes of Hazard. There were several uh, black actors over the course of the series. If you watch the whole thing, there were seven seasons, plus two reunion movies. So, uh... How uh, one of the uh, recurring characters, Sheriff Little of Chickasaw County, he was black. So, say that uh, there were no, some people say there were no black actors ever on the series, and that's not true. So, and uh, if the flag was as offensive as these liberals are making it out to be, then. That show wouldn't have even made it past the first episode, I guarantee you that. In a minute, or the second somebody would have seen that flag on the top of that car, that would have been, be like, hey, you can't do that. It wouldn't have ran for seven seasons. It wouldn't have ran for 145 episodes. But these uh, liberals, I mean, they're the ones that, the liberal media is the ones that told people, hey, you ought to be offended by that. And that's kind of what caused this. I mean, uh, They weren't offended until liberals told them that they should be. You know, I've seen this thing recently. Of, uh, some people are saying that they, I don't know if it's a joke or not, it's hard to tell anymore. They're trying to say that they should name, rename the great white shark the uh, Caucasian shark. Sounds like a joke, but you know, in this day and age, I don't know. People are getting so they're offended by everything now. I mean, it's not just one thing. I mean, I knew, like, when the battle flag, the battle thing with the battle flag started up uh, last summer, they didn't start with the battle flag, and it's not going to end with the battle flag. They're going to they're gonna find uh, new things to be offended by and uh, call everything racist. And, It goes both. It goes both ways. I gotta establish that. Is uh, you can be a black person and not like a white person. I mean, it goes both ways. I mean, uh, they call us names like Honky and Peckerwood. Those, if you don't, if you're not familiar, they're uh, slang terms for a white person and a black person. I don't know what the hell Peckerwood is supposed to mean, but. It's, uh, whatever. But, you know, whatever, I don't let it bother me. 
fish if I don't know what the hell the word means. I just go, uh, whatever. It, it goes both ways, I mean. That's another thing that needs to stop. I mean, uh, that's some uh, good for us fellow southern friends that are uh, black that are uh, that support the uh, battle flag and a couple of them, uh, at least two of them that I know of, I mean, um, always ask uh, personal details, but I know at least uh, two of them have uh, tattoos of the uh, Confederate battle flag on their body, and uh, they don't see it as racist. In fact, uh, my buddy Albert Frank, I'm sure you've seen uh, his videos, and uh, his first one's got like over 20 million views, and uh, he knows what's up. You know, he sees people as equal, he's not, you know, racist towards whites or anything, he thinks he's better than everybody else, he's just an all-around nice person. And if this, uh, if everybody else in this country thought like that, then, you know, be better, it'd be much more enjoyable the way it is now. I mean, you know, there's certain places that you want to just avoid because there's, all, there's always people that, that are uh, people that are offended by everything and they just want to cause problems. You know, that's, that's the way it is, I guess. Hopefully there are better days ahead because I'm uh, sorry, so it's a little dry. But uh, it's um very uh well another thing that uh. got people uh, going lately is uh, the, um, the presidential election as I said, said a little while ago and uh, mainly because uh, a lot of you, well, pretty much I'd say all the candidates at this point, they don't know what they're talking about, they're just trying to get in and uh, as uh, some, uh, well, most previous candidates have uh, proven that once they get in, what they say before they get in, it doesn't matter. I think we, uh, I think a good president would be, you know, I, I, I think, you know, honestly, a Native American Indian would make a good president. They, they love the land. They understand the animals. They, uh, they try to, uh, get along with everybody. They don't, they're not offended by random things. They just go with the flow. And, uh, I think, uh, one of them would make a very good president. I just, uh, I could definitely uh, see, see that as a good thing. But will it happen? Probably not. Will one of them run? Maybe. Never know. But, uh, this uh, <coughs> political correctness thing has got to stop. I mean, it's. The whole world we live in is politically incorrect. I mean, the sooner you accept that, the better. I mean, there's really no such thing as politically correct. I mean, now they're trying to take, they want to take Andrew Jackson off the $20 bill and put Harriet Tubman on. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, it's. Yeah, it, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, uh, 
it's, it shows you how far this political correct thing is, uh, is going. Like I said, uh, I mean, there's going to come a day when we're probably just going to have a bunch of empty poles here. We're not going to have any flags of any kind. You know, you're not going to see, you're not going to go to Lake Fenway Park or something like that. And you're not going to, you're going to look up, you're not going to see the uh, Red Sox flag flying. You'll see the banners from when they won the World Series because those, because those aren't flags. But actual flags flying on the poles there, you won't see. If, if, it, if it's political, politically correct thing keeps uh, gaining more and more steam, as it stands, then you're just going to have a bunch of empty poles because we don't want to offend anybody. But I hope it doesn't get to that extent. But I get a feeling that's where it's headed. And it didn't it didn't used to be this way. I mean, it used to be you could fly any fly you want. I mean, there were people that didn't agree with it, but they didn't, uh, you know, they didn't try to you know, take your flag or whatever, and the way I look at it, if you don't like a flag or if you don't like something, then, you know, don't buy it. It's that simple. I mean, it's like, it's like, like movies, for example, it's the same thing. I mean, I don't like Star Wars, but you don't see me, you know, buying Star Wars stuff and burning it because I don't like it. It's just, I never got into that space stuff. But it, it's the same thing. I mean, just because, you know, some, somebody else likes it, you know, let it go. Just like I said, there's, there's flags that I don't agree with, but, you know, I don't sit there and try to take somebody's flag from them. I don't sit there and try to, you know, say you can't fly that, or I don't agree with that, or yell out obscenity stone or stuff like that, you know, it doesn't get you anywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they may use flags for bad things, like the KKK and the Black Panthers may take those flags and uh, use them for, you know, racist acts and stuff like that, but, you know, just because they do it, it doesn't, you know, make it a bad flag. Just because, you know, they use it in a bad way. Granted, it doesn't uh, do you any favors either way. But uh, it doesn't make it a doesn't make it a bad flag just because they, somebody does a bad thing with it. Like uh, that guy last year, he thought that holding the battle flag, you know, made him superior. And uh, what he doesn't understand is that flag never stood for that. I mean, first of all, the KKK has their own flag, that stupid cross thing. And uh, holding a, uh, you know, small $3 flag you know, of any kind, even if it was the American flag, doesn't make you a badass. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. And, uh, he committed a horrible act, and trust me, he will pay for it, but let's not give him the satisfaction of that race war that he wants, because, you know, he already, he took nine lives, you know, it shouldn't have been taken. I mean, those people were in there, they were in the church. And it's, uh, sad to think you can't even go to church and be safe anymore. I mean, I, honestly, I mean, I went to a movie a couple weeks ago, and I was nervous about that. Cause I, after what happened in that Batman movie a few years ago, I mean, I don't have too much of an urge to go to the movie theater anymore, so. But these, those are places that used to be safe, but. Now you, you find yourself looking over your shoulder all the time. No, I know I did when I was in the, uh, 
movie theater the other you know, couple of weeks ago. The guy that had a you know, suitcase that seemed suspicious. I wasn't, I wasn't even uh, seeing a big movie though either. I was seeing uh, the Hank Williams movie by Hank Williams called I Saw the Light. Good movie. You know, it's too bad they didn't put any more theaters. But, you know. Sony's not very, they're a good company, but they're not very good at promoting their movies. I noticed that. And Three to four thousand is a wide release. Seven hundred forty-one theaters or not. I'm sorry, but you well, know, whatever. And it was their fault that the movie flopped. They didn't promote it the right, right way, but you know, it's the way it goes. It's still a good movie. But, uh, yeah, I just saw. Uh, hope there's better days ahead, because. Uh, I know I uh I don't have any I don't have any kids, but if I ever did I don't think I'd wanna I don't think I wanna bring any kids into this world that we live in right now. It's it's too unsafe. The state the state of kids in now. So hopefully there are uh greener pastures ahead. And uh I hope you all uh, enjoyed this uh, video. I've been uh, waiting. I need to. Uh, I wanted to say these. Uh, say a few words because I uh, felt that uh, you know these politically corrupt thing. You know it's it's gone way too far. I mean it went it went too far. I mean. I don't know when exactly it started, you know. I mean, past past few years, it's gotten worse. I mean, every day there seems to be something else people are offended by. Like, uh, if you're into pro wrestling, that's why. Uh, that's one. Well, that's one. At least one reason why they stopped. Uh, they're basically not allowed to bleed in the WWE because people were offended by it. And, you know, the, you watch the Attitude Era. The Attitude Era is the greatest in wrestling. Even uh, John Cena, which is a little bit surprising to me, said that he prefers matches with, you know, there would be blood, like hardcore matches. So. Yeah. Well, there's a. Uh, Many more Attitude Era fans than uh, what WWE understands. But, you know, they're not going to change. I mean, the only reason I still watch is because of uh, my favorite wrestler, The Undertaker. Once he's done, so am I. I'll stick with the uh, <coughs> DVDs and the videos and just leave it at that. Cause, uh, where the company is headed is kind of like the, where the, the world as a whole is heading. It may seem like it's getting better, but it's really not. Another thing that's uh, going downhill is, is why I'm not a NASCAR fan anymore with NASCAR. And uh, that started going downhill in the death of Dale Earnhardt. February 18th, 2001, and uh, it's had a few, you know, good moments since then, but for the most part, you know, it's, I read this article about uh, a few years ago, it said, how do you grow a sport when your uh, most valuable asset is gone? Uh, the easy answer is you don't. And that's why NASCAR is losing popularity. I mean, uh, oh, and then other than uh, Dale Earnhardt, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't collect NASCAR stuff anymore. So. And, uh, 
you know, the wind racers are getting so they're uh, offended by everything. I mean, in Earnhardt's day, you used to be able to bump people into the wall. I mean, he would, he would school you. He, would, he could make you better by the way he raced. Now it's like uh, if somebody gets a little nudge from somebody else, they get a fine for it. I mean, there's a bunch of wimps in NASCAR right now. That's, that's why if I'm going to watch a race, I'd just watch like an independent race or like a dirt track or something because, you know, you see real racers, you know, the, what the guy guys did when it was a uh, first around which was uh when they these old moonshiners would uh race race each other to see whose car was faster. That's how NASCAR got started and they've kind of gotten away from their roots. And they're kind of ignoring the past. Well again that's that's what things have come down to. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully I answered, uh, or, well, hopefully I touched on the, enough on this uh, politically correct thing where well, maybe some people think that it needs to stop, but, you know, can't force people to think a certain way, but, you know, that's a good my uh what I wanted to say out there and I think I've done that. So anyways I hope you all have a nice night and that's about it. Good night y'all.